So a couple months back I was looking for some coupons so I could do an online TIG course. Still haven't gotten around to it, but I found Weld Metals online and ordered a bunch of coupons from them. After I ordered them, they uh, wrote me to see if I was interested in trying out different things that they had and I said sure. So they sent me some stainless steel, aluminum, and carbon steel 16 gauge and eighth inch of each of those. So in this video I went ahead and welded them up, see how they do. I did 16 gauge outside corners, fillets on aluminum, some pulse welding, eighth inch uh, aluminum outside corners, T-joint and outside corner on carbon steel and stainless, uh, 16 gauge, some eighth inch in there. Actually I couldn't find the video for this fillet, so I guess that's not in there. But. The cool thing about this is they gave me a coupon code so that if you guys want to use the same settings, same material and all that that I used in this video and probably in future videos, I'm going to keep buying their coupons because they're super simple. Uh, I know they're clean, I know it's good material and if you guys order the same stuff then you can just follow the settings that I use and you shouldn't have a problem. You should be able to watch the videos and kind of figured out that way. That way we're all on the same playing field. Anyways, if you want to do that, they gave me a 10% off coupon to use for you guys and it's for any order, I think. Uh, anytime you go back there, just keep using it. It's 5th Street Fab, all capital letters, 5TH. So I'll put it in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Uh, but if you want to use the same material I am, all of these settings should work and then you can order it through them. So for the stainless outside corner on the eighth inch material, I'm just running high frequency, 125 amps, and that's it. And I'm just adjusting with the foot pedal. So when I was welding the outside corner, I did one with backing, and that was probably pretty close to full pedal of 125 amps. Um, in the shot that you'll see here, and then the screen of this, I was probably around 80 amps and there was no backing on it so I was running real quick. So this was um, with 035 filler. So this was with 035 filler. 
You can see the whole thing silver from that uh, ferret cup. And it was 035 and um, 308 L filler. And clamping up a piece of backing onto it will make it to where you can still weld the backside without having to throw a purge line back there. Uh, it doesn't weld as nice as if you purge the whole thing, but it's a lot better than if you don't. For the outside corner on the 16 gauge, I'm gonna leave it at 125 amps. I'm gonna turn on the pulse, pulse frequency. Uh, when I'm just doing autogenous, I like it around two to two and a half per second. And then we're gonna go, let's see, we'll just do the rule of 33. That one actually works really good. All right, we'll go to On the low side, that'll be 33 also. And we're all set. So when I'm doing stuff 16 gauge and thinner, there's two ways you can do outside corners. You can do your normal open corner like that. Uh, that's nice if you need to run filler. If you're just gonna be fusing it, you can do it like this, but it seems like if you put it edge to corner like that, or at least a little bit. When you fuse over it, it adds in that extra material almost like filler. So it's a little more strong than just doing an open corner and fusing it. gauge outside corner that I just butted up together and uh, pulse welded it. So for aluminum on the HTP I found my favorite settings are turn on the AC, hold down set AC and now we're in uh, negative electrode negative. Let's go into electrode positive and we're gonna turn it down to 75. That's the one I found that works good. All right, and for this outside corner on the eighth inch we're doing, I'm gonna be at 90 for my frequency and 77 for my balance. And I'm gonna keep it at 220 amps and just use my foot to adjust with it. Now, I also want to throw on some pulse with it. So my pulse frequency, I want it around one pulse per second so that I have enough time to add my filler. Let's see, we'll keep this one up around 67 and then put this one up at 70. And basically what that's doing is it allows when you're pulsing for the puddle not to quench all the way. It'll So say this right here is when it's full amperage. And then when it uh, the background hits, it only hits for uh, about 30% of the time. So then it narrows up to about here. And for only 30% of the time, it's like that. So it's 30% of the, or it's 70% of the amount of total amps you get. So it narrows up just a tiny bit and it just barely stays like that until it hits full amperage again. And when you're doing that, it's almost like pedal bumping it. Uh, so it basically allows you to use it almost like a timer. So you can set a consistent rhythm with it. Like if you're used to playing music or something, uh, that can help you. I wouldn't suggest using Pulsar until you understand how to get the weld down into the root, you understand like that stuff, then low speed pulser uh, can come in handy for that sort of stuff. I've just been messing around with this 
on aluminum and I really like those settings so far. So this is the 8th inch aluminum coupon that they have and I welded it with 332nd inch 53-56 filler and I used um, my pulse settings that I found that I really like. I don't use pulse that much but I have been messing around with it. Uh, if you're new I wouldn't use pulse until you have welding like figured out. So I was using uh, one pulse per second, which works good on outside corners because you have to add a little more filler so it gives you a little bit more time. And I was using 70% uh, background and 67% peak time on my pulse and that's what I came up with. Alright, for the 16 gauge aluminum that we're doing, I'm on AC. I've got my electrode positive down to 75. Um, I actually wanted my frequency at 90, but uh, the first one that I filmed that's in this video is actually at 200 hertz, but I like 90 more for outside corners. And then my balance is at 77. No pulse, 111 amps, and that's going to give me enough to play with because I'm really only going to be around 80 amps probably since it's 063 material. Um, I welded this uh, on two different settings. I used, I like to use 90 hertz on my outside corners, but I accidentally left it on 200 hertz, and it seemed to do all right because it doesn't have to wrap around that much. Um, anyways, so that's what I used on this. There's penetration on it. And on thinner stuff, you got to run a lot faster because by the time you get to the end, it starts to uh, fade out. If you watch back on the arc shot, you'll see that it's not flowing together right at the end. And that's actually because it's heat soaked right there. So if you go back, rewind just a little bit and watch that, you'll see that it's not coming together. And that's a sign that you're getting heat soaked. Even though you add more, more pedal on it, it's not coming together. That's because it's heat soaked. Alright guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you learned some things in there. Um, so once again, I think I'm going to start using all Weld Metal Online's coupons for um, a bunch of my stuff here. Not my projects, but my um, basically showing you step-by-step -step welding stuff for MIG and TIG. So if you want to use the same material that I'm using, go on there, use my coupon code. It's actually really cheap and I find it a lot easier than having them cut it down at uh, my local supplier. When I asked them about it, it was way more expensive than just buying it through here. So then I don't have to buy full sheets of them and have them cut it up. Anyways, use that coupon code to get 10% off. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and hit that bell so you get notified whenever I put one of these videos up. 
Uh, if you need some custom work done, just email me. My email's in the description below. And you guys have a good one.